हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो कैसे हो आप सब मैं आशा करती हूँ आप सब अच्छे होंगे तो आज की वीडियो में हम आपको एक कहानी सुनाने वाले हैं तो हमारी कहानी का क्या नाम है उसे जानने से पहले हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल को लाइक सब्सक्राइब और सब्सक्राइब के आगे बेल आइकन दबाना मत भूलना और वीडियो को शेयर जरूर कर देना और हमें कमेंट में बताना कि आपको हमारी कहानी कैसी लगी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड तो हमारी कहानी का नाम है सिंड्रेला वंस अपॉन अ टाइम देयर लिव्ड अ प्रीटी एंड साइल गर्ल कॉल्ड सिंड्रेला शी लिव विद स्टेप मदर एंड टू जेलस स्टेप सिस्टर्स who made her do the household work endlessly and treated her like a slave cinderella however carried out all the duties without a whimper while her helpless father just suffered silently one day the town crier announced an open invitation from the king to all the peoples of the kingdom for the royal ball so that the prince could find a bride the stepmother and her daughter made elaborate preparation to go to the ball while leaving they said oh cinderella finish doing the dishes and the washing before we return poor cinderella she sobbed her heart out as she tried to complete the household chores one after another suddenly a fairy appeared and said Child, do you wish to go to the ball? Wiping her tear, Cinderella said, "Yes, but how can I go in this ragged cloth?" The fairy said, "Get a pumpkin and seven mice." Confused, Cinderella simply obeyed the fairy's order. With a wave of her magic wand, the fairy changed the pumpkin into a glittering couch. since mice into white horses the seventh mouse in a livered coachman and cinderella's rag into a exhaustive gown and daintily glass shoes before cinderella left the fairy warned her remember to return home on time as my spell will end at 12 midnight everything will change to its original form then Cinderella reached the palace in style. She was the center of attraction as the prince danced innumerable rounds with her. He fell in love with her. Her stepmother and stepsister were green with envy. Suddenly Cinderella heard the first stroke of midnight. She remembered the fairy's warning, pulling herself away from the prince. She dashed out of the ballroom and ran down the steps. As she did so, one of her glass shoes slipped off her tiny feet. The prince ran after Cinderella, but she vanished in the blink of an eye. The prince told the ministers, "Find the girl who foot fit the dainty shoe." The town cried announced that the girl who lost her shoe would be identified soon and she would be the prince's bride. All the girls in the kingdom eagerly tied on the shoe but it was in vain. Cinderella's stepmother told her daughters, "Grab this opportunity even if you have to crown your foot into that shoe. However, the girl feet were too large." The minister then asked the stepmother, Are you sure there is there are no more girls in your house? The stepmother recurrently called out Cinderella even as she kept muttering, "How can such a dainty shoe fit a servant's foot?" However, they were all dumbfounded when Cinderella's foot eased into the shoes comfortably. The minister requested the stepmother to send Cinderella to the palace with them. The jealous mother and daughters had no choice. Cinderella married the prince and lived in the palace happily ever after. Thank you so much for watching our video. Or agar aapko hamari kahani achhi lagi to hamare channel ko subscribe, like, share aur comment karna mat bhoola. Ab hum aapko milenge apni ek aur mazedar video ke sath. To tab tak ke liye bye bye. Aur apne aur apne parivar ka dhyan rakhna.
Thank you.